Hey guys, so this is probably going to be the last episode of the Things You Need to Know as a Freshman series that I've been doing that was supposed to be four straight days and then I totally forgot about it and then my internet sucks so I sort of kind of just give up on trying to upload things. Yeah, so this is uh, the fourth video and today's topic is food because everyone loves food and everyone, come on, the only reason we all go on college tours is to eat the food. It's free, usually. I mean, sometimes there's, like, a charge, but basically a free buffet, for the most part, depending on what school you're going to tour at. And UNH is very much buffet-style eating, with the exception of the stir-fry bars, um, where they make the food for you. You just give them what you want, and they will turn it into stir-fry, which is yummy and delicious most of the time. Sometimes not. Just gotta deal with it. Um, anyways, so... First thing you need to know about food at UNH is meal plans. So the meal plans, there's the silver plan, the gold plan, the platinum plan, um, there's like silver plus, there's a couple different ones. Um, the most popular one according to UNH Dining Services is the gold plan where you get, you know, you have your unlimited swipes, which basically I think all of them have that except for maybe silver plus, maybe? Um, and I know if you're like a commuter student or like part time, then you just have swipes. You don't have unlimited. Um, but Gold Plan also gets you two hundred and fifty dining dollars, which pass over semester or fall to spring, but not spring to fall. Um, and trust me, you'll most likely blow through them if you know you have them because you can then go to any of the places you can get Dunkin' Donuts, Union Court, uh, Wild Catassin or Wild Kitty, whatever you want to call it. Um, any of the cafes on campus, almost everything takes dining dollars. A couple places on Main Street which are off campus take dining dollars which is really, really awesome because then you're not spending your cash cash or your actual cash. Uh, but yeah, so you have those plans and I think platinum you get even more dining dollars but it's really expensive. Um, so really need to see what you can fit into your budget and how much you really, like, do you need your dining dollars? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I use mine to bribe my friends. Not really. Um, anyways, but yeah, so segueing into dining dollars. Dining dollars is these awful little things that are like cash cash, but you can get discounts on the food you buy with them. And you can get, dunk, like I was saying, you can get Dunkin' Donuts, Wild Contestant, Zeke. Um, there's a place up at the Gables that takes um, cap, or that takes dining dollars. Um, a couple places, I think, um, was it Freaking New Grounds, which is the coffee shop on Main Street, takes dining dollars, I think. I'm almost positive about that. You can, uh, I'll link below with the, di or with the dining website, and it tells you everywhere that takes dining dollars, everywhere that takes cap cash um, off campus. You can actually, speaking of cap cash, if you go to Cold Stone Creamery at Fox Run or the crossings at Fox Run, they take cap cash. It's awesome. Um, and so do a, a lot of places on Main Street and in Durham take cap cash, which is awesome. Like the dump take takes cap cash. Um, and speaking of places off campus. Sometimes the dining halls are closed, like after a certain point in the day, and when there's snow, occasionally they're closed. So that means you gotta find food for yourself. Some places to go to get food, you can make your own by going to the dump and just buying groceries, which and they take cash cash. Um, if you're hungry late at night, um, of course you can go to Wild Contestant or Pita Pit, depending on where you live or how far you feel like walking in the dark. Or you can go to, like, Froyo World and get frozen yogurt. Or you can go to Freaking New Grounds and get coffee. But, again, they're only open so long. Um, there's Libby's, which is at, like, the very end, like, of Main Street. Well, not the very end of Main Street, but towards the end, and it's a little bit of a walk. Um, there's a couple of Chinese food places. There's a ton of pizza places. Like, we have Domino's, and I think everyone gets Domino's, and I feel so bad for them. Um... There's Young's, which is only open for a couple hours a day, because they really only do, like, breakfast and lunch. But I've heard that they're really good. Um, there's, of course, uh, of course, the Durham House of Pizza and some other places. Mama Max is really good mac and cheese. And, like, their small is, like, a huge portion of mac and cheese. And it it's delicious, and they have many different kinds of mac and cheese. But, yeah, so that's actually all I have to say about food. And if you have anything else that you want me to talk about, about being a freshman like textbooks, maybe I'll talk about that later, um, comment below on what you want me to talk about, because I'm here to help. Okay, well, otherwise, I will see you in my non-
more related videos. Goodbye.